Suppose you have this type of data set and the goal is to filter out all of my data set which contain a certain word. Of course, in this video, I just created a formula to search for three words, but you can easily extend the range to include more keyword. And we have also end or condition. For example, currently I set my condition or and now you can see it filter out all of my this data set which contain any of these three keyword. Now, if I switch to end condition, it will filter out no data because there is no such data which contain all of these three keyword. But let's say I'm just removing engineering from here, simply hit and delete key. And now you can see it filter out the data set which contain both of the words. You can see LTD electrical. Anywhere it found the two word, it will filter out those data. Okay, in this video, I show you two format. Your keyword may be horizontally or your keyword may be vertically. So I will show you a little bit update in the formula. So if you want to work with this type of table or if you want to work with horizontal table, don't skip the video, follow till the end. You will learn a lot of more new things. Consider I have the sheet on which I have no formula currently. The first thing we need to build a very easy search function. Open parenthesis. For the fine text, I will select my entire range. Later, we will also dynamic this one as well. For within a text, I will click on A2, hit Control Shift down arrow key. If you have longer range, in this case, I will simply input zero and close parenthesis, hit enter. Now it will return number whenever it's found the matches. For example, here you can see LTD 90. Here you can see two matches. Why? Because electric, LTD, both are present. Now we will apply if error function and keep this in mind that currently we are developing the logic for our condition. For the end condition, this will be a little bit different here. Okay, I simply write if error, open parenthesis, what is the value? This whole is my value for if error function, hit comma. And whenever I see the error, I want to return zero result, close parenthesis, hit enter. Now we need to sum these result row by row. So if I simply apply some function here, it will give me a single cell result. And we want to avoid this one. We want to calculate some row by row. I will hit Ctrl Z and we simply need to apply a very easy by row function. Open parenthesis. What is the array? This whole function result is my array. Hit comma. Simply type lambda. Open parenthesis. For parameter R calculation, I will define x, hit comma, simply write sum, open parenthesis x, close parenthesis, close parenthesis for lambda, close parenthesis for by row function and simply hit enter. Now you can see we get number whenever this found any of three keyword. If I click on the D2 cell and simply write greater than zero, hit enter. You can see we get true for result. I will sit align to lift so that I can easily read. Now you can see whenever it found the keyword, it's return true. And we can simply use this whole result in our filter function. Hit Ctrl C, double click here, equal, filter, open parenthesis, select the range, hit Ctrl Shift down arrow key. Add one more zero to make the range consistent. Hit comma for the include parameter. Control V to paste the whole function. Close parenthesis. Hit enter. And now we get all of the data which has any of these three keyword. Let's say I remove the engineering keyword. What is happening? It's bringing the data, but currently there is no matching keyword because we have empty cell in our range. If I double click, you can see we have empty range. And if I remove this range, hit enter, now the formula work 
fine. So how we can dynamic this range to avoid blank search? If I scroll a little bit to the right side and simply write engineering again here, now I will write a very easy function filter, open parenthesis, select the range. In this case, I have the three keyword. If you have longer range, you need to select those range, okay? Hit comma, again select the range and simply type not equal to empty, close parenthesis, hit enter. Now, if I click here, you can see a blue line. Currently, I have all of the range non empty. If I remove engineering, I have the two cell of data. Now, I will simply copy this filter function, hit control C, click on my formula. I will increase a little bit the formula bar width. And instead of hard coded range, we will input the filter function. Hit control V, simply hit enter. And now you can see we get all of the keyword which has found here and it will exclude the blank. I will remove this formula again. Now we need to develop the end condition. I will scroll a little bit to the left side again and I will remove this function. Now this time again we need to type search function, open parenthesis. For the fine text I will apply filter function, select my range hit comma when this range is not equal to empty so this is my lookup search hit comma within a text i will click on a2 control shift down arrow key we will add one more zero maybe later we have more data sheet close parenthesis hit enter now it's returned the same result currently we have the two keywords so it's returned two column result if i add another column it will return three column result but you can see number whenever the keyword is found so last time we apply if error function after this step but now we will apply by row function here and the reason is if any two cell has the number, it will return a number. If any of the cell has number and value error, since it found only one keyword, so this will return a value error. So I will simply write by row function here, open parenthesis, what is the array? This whole is my array, hit comma, lambda, open parenthesis. I will define parameter or calculation as x, hit comma, simply write sum, x close parenthesis for sum close for lambda and close for by row hit enter now you can see we get number whenever this found these two keyword in any of the position you can see ltd electrical you can, in this case you can see both has in same order and same for all of other value and now we can simply apply is number function as well hit enter and now we get true whenever both of the keyword is matching and now we can simply apply filter function. I will select all of my function result. Hit control X, filter, open parenthesis, select the range. Hit control shift down arrow key, add one more zero. Hit comma, control V, close parenthesis, hit enter. And now we get the end condition result. I will simply copy this whole function. Hit control C, click here. So after equal, click the mouse, hit Alt, Enter, click above and simply write if this cell equal to A and D, hit comma, Alt, Enter, Control V to paste the result of the function, hit comma. So whenever the condition is end, we will get the result from this function. Whenever we have our condition here, we will get the result from this function close parenthesis, hit enter and simply remove formula in D2 cell and this is how we can develop the logic. If I select end condition, now you can see we have successfully created our formula. Okay, so this is all about when we have a search keyword in horizontal position. If you have word in vertical position, let's say in this position, then simply this formula will not work. And you need to do a little bit update. I will copy this whole formula, hit control C, click here, double click, control V, hit enter. Okay, if I simply double click here, you can see instead of H3, we need to write H1 because we have condition in H1 cell. Simply write H1 here, 
hit enter and for understanding purpose i will write a very easy to column function here open parenthesis select the array i will select the long array let's say 20 of the keyword hit comma and here you can see ignore blank ignore error ignore blank and error i will select third options close parenthesis hit enter and now you can see it's automatically removed the blank and the next thing we simply need to transpose this range open parenthesis and close parenthesis hit enter and now we simply need to copy this whole function hit ctrl c click here and instead of this filter we need to update the new function here hit ctrl v hit ctrl v here and simply hit enter and the magic is happened and now if i select end condition it will return no result because currently there is no such row which has all of these three conditions present but if i remove any of the keyword let's say i remove electrical and now you can see only engineering and ltd keyword so this is how you can develop search function with multiple partial math along with and or condition. I hope you learned something useful. I will share this file with you. If you have any question, please write in comment. And if you enjoy the video, please subscribe my channel for more video. Thank you so much.